All right, so it's been a few days, so let's do a 3 eye Atlas update. The Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa just detected hydroxyl radicals, OH molecules, coming directly from the object. That is the chemical signature of water vapor or ice, which means this thing isn't just rock or metal, it's doing something. Now, they picked it up at 1.665 and 1.667 gigahertz, right in the range that scientists normally use to study comets. But it's also kind of weirdly close to the frequencies that keep popping up at Skinwalker Ranch, which are usually right at 1.6 gigahertz. Those are the ones that show up on their spectrum analyzers every time something unexplainable happens in the sky. Also, the rogue object that we had before, V1 Borisov is what they were calling it, that has now disappeared. So whether it disintegrated or cloaked itself or whatever it is, but that is no longer there. So that showed up and a couple days later, it's missing. So we'll see what that turned out to be. But 3 i Atlas is also now showing seven distinct jets, including another anti-tail. And again, it's not an optical illusion anti-tail. These are a real anti-tail pointing towards the sun. Usually with comets and we've seen anti-tails, they're optical illusions based on the angles. This is a legit tail pointing towards the sun. Now, all of this could mean that 3 i Atlas is just venting like a comet and it just woke up. It's very possible. But it also could mean that those radio lines and jets could be part of something else entirely. Now, I've said before, I will give you guys the real info on this, whether it means it's a rock or something else. Either way, right now, it's not being quiet anymore. It's doing some things since perihelion. Now, what that ends up being right now with the jets and the tail and all that, it's leaning a little bit more towards rock again. So we'll see how things go, and I will keep you guys updated.